Okay. It's Morgan again. Welcome to Organize Mess. Dun, 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 dun. Today we are doing a sketchbook tour. Um, I think it's a great start for me to kind of have something to talk about <laughs> on YouTube. But also because I'm really going to start diving more into drawing and illustration with my craft I'm gonna start drawing more so um, I think this will be a nice introduction to my style and how I like to do things and hopefully this will help others just kind of um, be okay with how they do things we'll talk about that another time though <laughs> so let's start how do I start this <laughs> I have a personal project that I want to, you know, let you guys in on a little bit later. There's a lot of sketches in here from my first initial concept ideas um, of that. I don't know if I want to explain it right now. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys what I do. Okay, so I just go in, I just, you know, make different versions of things and... I draw them out probably in layout form because this project is a print project um, I did it in the layout form of a book because that's what it is <laughs> so I actually used um, this one which is crazy so I use this one I didn't use any of these none of these I use this one so if you follow me already, I think you know what it is. If you don't, wait for it, wait for it. I'm not showing you guys those anymore. Um, that goes into a whole other topic. And I'm really going to break down my process when I do decide to start doing that thing. So I feel like we're kind of meshing um, topics right now. So. I'm just going to go straight into like my art, my personal art that I draw. Like that's more work stuff in a way. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, this was my first one. Um, let me show you this right here. I don't draw like this anymore, but in, uh, this is not a real person. So where to God is not. I usually draw women, so I wanted to try drawing a guy and like how I would kind of compare that, so I drew them next to each other. But I also kind of came up with this thing where, I don't know, so I don't want to really want to go into like <laughs> my life and how I act with people, but you know like, you know it's just that weird like little tension where it's like, you know, I'm feeling you, but like you feeling me but like we're not saying anything it's just like we're kind of just like you know like we're just like not saying anything about it so that's kind of where the hearts come in you know it's like hearts here hearts here but you're just looking straight forward you're not really doing anything about it so <laughs> if you're waiting on me to say something you're gonna wait for a long time okay i ain't saying shit Ooh. there's a siren Dang guys, okay, so I guess I'll share this. I was not expecting this. Honestly, I had something in my head like completely different, you know, just, oh, I'm just gonna show them my little stuff. I have so much in these and um, it's crazy all over the place. So I'm just gonna share this one. Okay, so I did this. Um, it's kind of like a cover page to what's coming next. I... I come up with concepts for music videos um, for artists 
um, I hear a song and if I like it and kind of can tell that there's like a story behind it or something, I like add a story to the lyrics. So, um, I had one for, I have one, I'm not gonna say had because we never know, but um, I have one for Facts by her and I was gonna have it star one of my friends, which is actually gonna be in another one for another song. But um, yeah, so I started to make like a storyboard. These are blank because I don't finish anything. But I have like the timestamps, like literally, like I know which part of the song when something's gonna happen, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, I literally have like, you know, close up, um, one minute, go over here, four minutes, go over here. So yeah. I think I just, I struggle with the the illustration part of it, but you know, I did the best that I could. Um, here's this. Like I said, I'm always very torn, I'm always conflicted. I'm like happy, sad, happy, sad, sad, trying to be happy, happy, but I'm sad. My cousin Shane kind of copied what I did on the back right here so this is his version with the brain out it's pretty tight actually shout out to Shane let's move over to the next page um, I started drawing with pen you know I feel like everything everything before was like in pencil that's just what I knew pencil I was kind of scared to draw on pen but there was um, a point where I started to force myself to draw on pen because I have a real hard time making decisions so I'm like you know if you drawn pen whatever you whatever you put down there that's just what it is so I had to work with what um, I was doing so here's one um, the meaning behind it um, is kind of like I was gonna say outside looking in but I guess technically this is inside looking out it's like looking out the window of like oh what's out there I'm kind of stuck and I'm just looking outside and wondering if the grass is greener <laughs> a lot of my shit is depressing <laughs> okay so here is one of um, when I really kind of started taking drawing not seriously but you know just a little bit more seriously take it in hearts and sad faces again and she said. Um, I won't give too much detail on that one because um, it'll tell too much about my life but um, I was really sad when I drew this very 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 sad so um, I felt really stupid in that moment and I just felt really trapped. Like I just couldn't go anywhere. I actually couldn't. So, um, yeah, this one's a favorite for sure. It was like, it's like, you know, when you're just really mad and like you're just, uh, <sighs> so I'm a Taurus, okay? And it takes a lot for me to crack because I'm very, very, very patient, but I swear, once I'm there, bruh, like, whew, I'm hot. So, I was there. I was hot, and I felt like I just wanted to burst open. Like, everything in me just wanted to burst. So, these cracks was literally just, like, me cracking, but I just had to, I had to keep it together. Like, I couldn't. So, this was called Keep It Together. And um, that's it. Go on to here. This one was a pretty fun one. Um, it says in little words right there, I f***ed up. And it's because I did. Not in life, but in the picture. I f***ed up. I feel like I think I had a concept for it and like I didn't. It didn't happen, but I was drawing with pen, so I just went with it. But um, I was really concentrating on the hair. Um, I wanted to make some curlies. I think I had my hair in this actual style. 
I'm still kind of just going with the flow at this point. I'm kind of developing my style and like where I like to put things and I'm just going with it. So this one's pretty interesting. And then we get on the brighter side of things. This one, um, I was like in this stormy area of just being really sad and depressed and stuff like that, but I, I was kind of rising out of it. So I was in this place of peace because I wasn't in this space anymore. So this just kind of shows me coming out of this and into this space. And she has like a little, a little smirk, you know, <laughs> a little smirk. And then I decided to draw my son. First of all, he hates this picture. <laughs> He hates it. He says that he looks horrible in it. I'm like, okay, tough crowd. This is kind of like my first go at trying to do very realistic portrait style. Um, before I kind of just make stuff up in my head and kind of just go with it. But this I was really like looking at a picture and like doing it and trying to make it as realistic as possible. So um, this is my first go at it and it's pretty bad. It doesn't look like my son at all, a little bit, but it's really the teeth. He said he looked like Shrek, <laughs> like an ogre. Asshole. Okay, so then I drew my sister. This isn't that good either. She's way bomber than this. I, I feel like I made her look like an avatar, but um, yeah, I was trying to do portraits and stuff. So there's that. And then I feel like this one, I spent more time on this one's better. This is my brother. So I drew him. And every time I see this, it's very trippy. It's like, whoa. Um, this is my brother, Jonathan. Shout out to him. So this. I always, I, I always go up and down, you know, like I'm not that consistent. Sometimes I'm into it, sometimes I'm not. So I was trying to draw a picture of myself, but it just wasn't coming out right. So I tell this, who am I? And that's how I was feeling. I didn't know who I was at the moment. And then I tried again and I was messing up and it's just, who am I? Yeah, but then I found her. This was called, there she is. She's lit. <laughs> Sometimes I just like doing really weird shit just to get me out of my funk because I can get very comfortable. I can get very like, this is my way and I'm sticking to it. So I like to do things to switch sometimes. I mean, I don't like to do it, but I do do it. And um, it always kind of comes out kind of cool. So, you know, I do the big lip thing, but this is like a to the side, off the face. It doesn't really make any sense, but I like it. Oh! <laughs> ah. um, I laughed this hard because um, here's one. <gasps> Woo! And let me tell you, this is why I drew this like this. I binge watched New Girl, and I was just in fucking love with Jess. Like I love Jess. She was so freaking cute. I mean. Honestly, I'm a whole Nick. Like, <laughs> I'm an entire Nick. But I just thought Jess was just so freaking cute. I loved her bangs and her like really big eyes and stuff. And like, I wanted it. Shout out to New Girl. Ooh. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Boo yow. Check her out. She's fire. I started feeling better here, you know, I started feeling real cute, you know. Um, I didn't have this hairstyle yet, but I knew I wanted it. I wanted some locks or some twist or something like that. And I did this whole elongated neck thing. And um, I really like this one right here. Super, super cute. All right, we're getting to the end here, kids. I promise you. This was recent, this was a few months ago. I was just really pissed, you know? Like, there's a lot of shit going on around me, and I was getting affected by things that I wasn't personally doing. It's from other people's actions and their decisions and how they wanna live their life and do things, and 
it was still affecting me. So it's like all this noise and I'm just like, I guys just call this over it, like on some summer walker shit. Am I really that much to handle? We're gonna, oh, okay. She's cute. Um, again, I was in a funk, uh, not a funk, more of like an art funk, more of like a, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna draw. And, um, I did this one. This is like my most recent. I didn't write the date down. Very recent. I want to say like last month or something like that. I like this side better. So, yeah, um, the hair is hearts. I don't know where this bob came from. I feel like the bob just went with the angle that her face was at. Um, again, broken heart, regular heart. Last but not least, I drew my son again. This is way better than the other one. He approved of this one. La the, the first one was when he was five. He's six now. I gave him an extra long neck, but um, he liked it. I got an okay, so that means I'm good. There's that. I mean, there's been trucks, there's been sirens. Somebody's like sawdusting something now. So, um, yeah, that was my sketchbook. What I really want to encourage is just go with what you already know. You know, I used to get really down on myself for not drawing a certain type of way and it's like oh my gosh I don't have all this detail so I don't know how to draw and that's really BS when I was a little girl um, I used to draw kind of like a portrait style self-portrait style um, girl you know and I would just draw that over and over and I wouldn't do anything else so one day I was like just go with that you know, why try and change something that isn't really a bad thing? So I just kind of started to refine that style. And that's okay. I think that's the goal here is to figure out who you are and what you like. So if you are always drawing waves, but you're like, oh my gosh, why don't I draw houses? It's like, there's nothing wrong if you don't draw houses. That person draws houses, you draw waves. So just keep drawing waves, you know? So that's what I decided to do. I just kept going with what I knew and I didn't find fault in that. I stopped, um, I stopped beating myself up for not doing things a certain way or in a certain aesthetic. And I started to really just like myself for who I was. You kind of have to have that acceptance of this is how I like to work or this is how I do things. So go with it. Of course, try new things, this and that, but don't beat yourself up because you don't draw like the next person. So <laughs> that's my lesson for the day. Treat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick two or three of my favorite portraits and I'm going to paint them in this style. Da -da -da. It's this new black and white style I've been going with, like I told you before. Um, colors make me very, I don't know which ones to pick, too many options, it can go anywhere. So I just <laughs> rather stick with black and white to keep it easy. So um, I wanna get my creative juices flowing and I don't really wanna think of anything new because uh, my anxiety won't let me. So I'm just going to, um, Draw what I know already. Thanks for watching. If you have anything nice to say, <laughs> put it down in the comments. And um, like the vid if you liked it. Subscribe if you like me. And um, stick around. I got other cool stuff going on besides just talking about me. <laughs> I promise. All right. Bye.
artist. Her name is um, The Artist Dom on Instagram. I'll tag it below. Um, she makes really dope shirts and she has really, really, really dope paintings. So.